this is Lee from the Hub Saver. We met probably about a year ago. He was at an RV show, and they made this product. It's amazing. Um, so what you do is you take the washer out of the hub and you replace it. It's thicker. It's made out of what kind of material is it? Aluminum? Four, no, four different metals. So okay. it's got nickel, chromium, magnesium, and a little bit of copper. So, and he can explain it better, but it's a little bit bigger than the race. And what it does is when you have bearing failure, um, it guarantees that your your hub and your tire won't come off. So it's great for single axles. It's great for any trailer. So we just tested it, um, and we will be releasing a video about it. We took a trailer and we just packed it full of dirt, no grease. We went approximately 20 miles. We couldn't get the bearing to fail. So we took front bearing out and did the run again. We came back, the hub was hot. Um, it definitely, can you grab the, um, the hub saver definitely did its job. We did not lose. It's got a little, indentations in here where it took on the load of the tire and the hub like i said we're going to put the video together we had broke gopros on the tires and everything um sam you were driving with me did you feel unsafe no but um i have to say driving without a bearing and just uh the hub saver in it i wouldn't ride my trailer without it now just because uh forty dollars for is it forty dollars per axle yes so um that would save you a lot of money for a tow bill six hundred dollar tow bill correct um, yeah. typically for a single axle and let's not um forget to mention the liability if your tire and your hub came off and it hit another car or a person yeah. um so i just have to tell you i didn't i've been working with this for about a year um i'm gonna release all a youtube video and put it on our facebook page but if you have any questions, you can go to the Hub Savers website or to mine and check it out. We have it available in the store right now for 50 or 35, 52. What? 35, 52, and 7K. <laughs> the 10 and 12K are in protocol. Um, stay prototype. prototype. Um, stay tuned because we have a lot coming about this. It's, it's, it's a product I really believe in. And, and Lee wanted to point out, like, if you do have a bearing failure, this product is meant to get you to safety. Yeah. And then you, you maintenance your axle and you do. And, and will you tell them how the hub doesn't get violent and score sure. the spindle? Sure. I'll let me take it from here. Yeah, so because of the diameter that we run, uh, what it does is it, it it doesn't allow the hub to really beat itself up. So if you if you take that outer bearing out of it, there's so much play there. Well, the hub saver takes up for that, and that's that's why you see the marks on the hub saver and how it's kind of been affected by by having no bearing at all for 20 miles on a on a dump trailer. So you know this is um, again. We don't want we don't want you to ever have to use this or ever have to need it, but but if you do, you certainly want it in your trailer. I do so. want to mention too when we took, took our first run, we um, had no grease. We packed it full of dirt, and we'll release the video on that. And we're starting to think because the hub saver was in there, it was stopping the bearing from failing. Sure. So that was interesting too. We, and we have seen in our testing where where when we have a bearing failure with the hub saver. The bearing will actually live a little bit longer because it's not allowing itself to beat itself up. So, yeah. uh, abs absolutely. But, oh. but, but, bottom line is we went we went 40 miles total, uh, 20 without a bearing, and 20 packed full of sand. So, um, that's more than enough miles for you to be able to get off the interstate, get somewhere safe, so you can make a repair. Okay, Very stay, proud of it. stay tuned. We're going to release more, and I think this is going to be a show of our growth through part.